Hello everyone, Kerry the Crafter here, that's C-E-R-I the Crafter, and yes, it's that time again. It's Marguerite Miller time. So, first of all, I know the sun's shining right across here. I only have one time slot to film today, so please forgive me. This is the best as you're going to get. Um, I know the sun is moving, so probably by the end of this video, it's not going to be shining like this anyway. But yeah, unfortunately, deadlines and other things mean I just don't have an option. I will try and keep things as much in this quarter where the sun isn't shining. But, you know, I just do what I do. So thank you anyway for forgiving me in advance. So let's see, I think we're on 39. I'm absolutely certain we are on 39. Let's take the bookmark out of here. Um, before we even start, you'll note I've already covered one page. That's because I intend covering both the pages in the same manner. You don't need to see me do it twice, and I've already done that. And also, it's always a bit fiddly fitting around here. So let's have a little look at the prompts. Hopefully, the sun isn't too much in the way, and you can read those. I'm going to read them to you anyway, so we don't have a problem. So let's put the book over here. Right, It says there... And it says there, so that's where it should be in the side. Okay, so um, I know I'm quite famous for saying, I don't know what I'm doing, I don't know where I'm going, I haven't got a plan for this. But this one, really, I don't know where I'm going, I don't know what I'm doing, I don't know why I've got a plan for this. However, I'm beginning to get an inkling of an idea as I was bringing the pieces together. So let's see if this works out. Okay, first prompt is wrapping paper. The only wrapping paper I found in this house was Christmas wrapping paper and it's got little tiny snowflakes on it which are actually really not not that prominent so I'm okay using it um yeah we don't really do well there's only my sister and I so we tend to do I'm, I'm the person gift bags was invented for I absolutely despise wrapping presents um if you ever get a wrapped present with a bow from me Believe me, you're a special person because I don't like wrapping presents. I've never liked wrapping presents. Um, I don't mind wrapping things that are in boxes, rectangular or square, but it's when it gets to the weird shape stuff or, or a jumper or a sweater or pyjamas or socks or something that are weird. It, yeah, I just lose my cool with it. So we're going to be sticking this onto this page when we get started. Note the trees. We'll get back to that. Um, I also pulled out another little couple of pieces from my magazine snippets that to me look like they could potentially be wrapping paper. So I'm going to keep these because I think I might want to add this one. Not sure about that one. Might add this one just as an accent piece of this as we go along. Second thing, something in the shape of an oval. Well, I have this oval sticker and the oval sticker came from this book that I you've seen me use it before so it's in here and I thought it goes reasonably well with where I think this might be going okay next on here something with legs well unless I'm vastly mistaken horses and humans normally have legs so I think I've ticked that box and I think that's going to sit quite nicely down there and you may already be getting the idea of where this this spread might go, but again, watch this space, not 100% certain. Um, what's next? Um, a tree. Well, there's trees on there, and I also, or just stuck it to the horse. Don't pull his ear off, please. There you go. Um, I also have a tree sticker as well, which might go on here somewhere. Again, not sure. Uh, what's the next prompt? Something from the recycling bin. Well, I'm calling my parking lot. The recycling bin. So when I come to that prompt or I feel like it I'm going to dig through here and there are pieces here from all over the place to be honest so we'll see what I dig out of here but this is what I'm classing as my recycling bin and we'll play with that as and when we come along to it. Um, a rubber stamping in any colour except black. Well I'm going to put some flowers on here and I've got green and if I feel confident enough I've got my watercolours here and I might just paint in maybe a little hint of colour in those and a little hint of colour in the leaves. Again not sure. Now I did pull out other stuff because when I got all of the prompts stuff together I went through and looked at other things that caught my eye. So I found that which I thought that's quite country. It's got a tree in it. That's obviously a tree. I'm, I'm not sure I'm going to use these things, but they were just things that popped up when I was sorting through. Um, I really like that, and that really goes, in my mind, 
with that sort of imagery. So we might be seeing that in here, not sure. Um, that, although it's not a true oval, it was an oval full of eggs. And I thought if I use that, I might use that, but then I quite like that on its own. And that might actually replace the oval anyway. Um, I pulled out some white tissue paper because I want to put this on here to knock back the Christmas tree thingy. I also pulled out some bits of rice paper that I had hanging around because I've got a scrap box of rice paper stuff. And I thought, right, I'll use some of that as well. So plenty, plenty, plenty of stuff to go on this collage. So my first job is obviously going to be to get the other half of this background in. We've got the regular people to work with, Mr. Glue Stick, Mr. Scissors, Mr. Spreader, and Mrs. Tear Ruler. And it's a Mrs. Tear Ruler because she can rip into you. There you go. So how about that for a sexist comment this time in the morning? So where are we? Right, I've already measured and torn this. Um, I stuck this one down first, as I said, because truly you don't need me to be see me sticking down a bit of wrapping paper twice. So I'm just going to go in here now. Um, if you are using wrapper pa wrapping paper, um, glue stick works perfectly well on it. The only thing I would say is be careful because some wrapping papers are really, really fragile. They're really quite thin. And if you go for a metallic or a glitter, um, a glitter, uh, what's it called, wrapping paper, you might need to consider the glue that you're using then when you stick other elements on top of it because not everything likes to stick to glitter and not everything likes to stick to foiling, which is the shiny stuff. So let's pop that in there, let's slide it around. And that's the why I, reason I like using um, glue sticks because the glue allows you to slide stuff around for a little while so that it's not perfectly aligned. Like anything in my life is perfect. Oh, there's a champagne bottle. Not that everything is perfectly aligned in my life, but there you go. One can only wish. Right, so let's put that on. Let's put this back in. Everyone loved this, by the way. I was really pleased about that. Um, it was a new direction for me, I must admit, but I wanted to break the cycle and everyone loved it. And thank you very much for all the kind comments. Absolutely loved that you loved it. So I forgot to say we've got a glue book as well. Right, back to this one so I'm not distracted. Right, so I've got this on the go. Now I need to think about um, possibly the tissue paper that I wanted to put in. Now, the reason I kind of chose white tissue paper is in my mind, I wanted to use it, you know me for a story. Um, I kind of wanted to use it. Oh, that was flipping useless. I put the tear ruler down, it didn't even tear it, it tore in another place. Um, I wanted to put it down almost as if it's fog or an atmosphere. So it, I know it's a bit quirky, but I just thought I'd try it. Tissue paper doesn't always like to tear well. So um, also this is potentially where I'm going to stamp the flower. And I thought if I'm going to stamp, I'd rather stamp onto um, something like tissue paper because I'm not sure how this is going to take some. Talk about sticky fingers. I've got stuck to me already. Okay, so I'm thinking about putting that down there just so that it gives it a little more something. Now, let's see whether I can get this glued without tearing it. We may be changing tact on here if I end up ripping the heck out of this tissue paper. But normally, tissue paper and rice paper, you can use a glue stick on. It's napkin that's really, really tricky, and I would probably never use a glue stick on napkin. Let's see if I can stretch this out again. And it doesn't need to be perfect. This whole planner is not about perfect. This whole planner is about the challenge it offers me. Let's just get that down and see if I can just lift that up again. So, so um, as you've noted, those who have commented on previous videos, I am working my way through it. I quite like that mist that's gone in there. I wonder whether I want to add another bit. Maybe up there. Let's put that bit in the parking lot. You never know where that will rear its head again. Um, yes, thanks for the comments. I am trying to get through them, but as, as you have heard me say before, there's a lot of comments, and I love the comments. Please keep them coming. Um, however, it does take a time to do them. Um, so I don't always get them done in a hugely timely fashion. But I'm trying. 
and a big shout out to all the new subscribers. Thank you, thank you, thank you for discovering me, joining me and, and being on this journey with me. A um, bit of a journey of discovery or is it discovery or is it just basically allowing myself to be the artist that I potentially could be? I mean, I, I, does that sound conceited? It's not meant to be conceited. Right. I've got some creases in there, but do I care? Not really. Right, I like that. It does give me that sort of foggy look. Hopefully you can see it in the camera without it being too distracting. Right, now I need to give it just a moment's thought. If this is the background, what else is the background? Um, mm, moments pause, just need to think. Right, I know that I like the rice paper and the rice paper is potentially background material. Let's put those back again. Um, I need to, where's that horse? I want to see how much is going to be exposed when I put stuff in. So basically, if I take that off there, um, I want to say this is Stamperia rice paper, uh, only because pretty much that's what I normally use. Um, but don't hold me to that. Um, I'm not 100% certain. I have had another couple of brands gifted to me but it's usually Stamperia that I use. Um, I love their imagery, I love their colouring. Um, so this could be Stamperia, it may not be, but I've got a feeling it is. Um, if I could get my brain into gear, I'd probably be able to tell you which collection to, because it's a collection where um, there's a woman's face on, on the rice paper and it's, it's surrounded by this sort of flower system system these sort of flowers so right i'll probably have to trim that off later just wrap, stick that there so that brings that up to there and then what i might do is i might layer a bit of rice paper over the top of that later right where's the other bit gone i quite like the fact that i had a spare bit and me being me i'd like to put that down there to balance it although i do feel that's where i'm going to put the tree as well so if I want to put the tree, because of course we've got trees in the background, so I don't necessarily have to put the tree in. Although I will if I think it needs it. And I think that's part of this process too, is... Um, and I've heard Gail and a few other um, creators say this as well. It's like, they'll put it on and unless something enhances what you're doing, don't put it on there. Um, because that's that's what all of the elements are supposed to be. They're not. You're under no fast rules to stick things down. Um, it's your art. You do what you wish with your art. Um, it's just a case of does something really give you the enhancement you wanted? Now I've been looking at this strip and wanted that up there. I would like it to be as straight as it can, and it's on there and it's done. Yeah, yeah. Use that bit. I've been looking at using that bit for a while. Let's get that off my fingers. Oh, so frustrating when something's stuck to your finger. Will it let go? Will it heck? It's like, get off. Right, that's that little bit dealt with. Okay. Um, now I did pull in this. And I wasn't sure why I pulled in. It just called to me. I'm going to tear it into... I wonder if I can tear it with a tear ruler. Because I'd rather like this to be kind of straight edged. I'm not sure you should be able to see me in screen. Tearing rice paper isn't always the easiest because it has fibres in it. Um, quite thick fibres sometimes, so it tends to go off on its own little tangent. And it tears where it wants to tear sometimes, or sometimes it doesn't tear at all. Um, oh, thank you to the person, because I've forgotten again. Um, who said thank you about giving them a quick tutorial on the tear ruler in the last collage spread. Um, I'm glad it helped. I hope it helped anyone else who's new to a tear ruler as well. Um, I quite like that label. That label's going to go somewhere. Not sure, but I'm, it's going to go somewhere. I do feel this needs a home. I'm sort of kind of thinking there's a story here. 
If I put that down, do I want to put this underneath it? Hmm, the oval is called, is it causing me angst, should we say? Oh, and I wanted to put this piece on there as well, didn't I? Oops, just dropped it. Where are you going? Right. I am loving that, but I'm not overly loving the size of it. I wonder whether a bit of judicious tearing, if judicious actually means what I think it means, which probably it doesn't. Uh, I'm going to say the word selective tearing. There you go. Um, tear this down a bit. I should be able to get it smaller but without losing the integrity of what I want it to be. I think I'm going to tear it. Should, should I tear it? I'll tear along there and see if I can fussy tear that right. Bear with me. I will do my darndest to do this as quick as I can. I don't really want to destroy the image and I don't actually want to fussy cut it either. I'm going to tear that bit off because it's not integral to the design. So let's take that down there and down here. So yes, um, life here is still a bit of a hamster wheel, to be honest. Still rolling, rolling, rolling. Um, I did all the TV shows. Um, the reason I'm having to film this today, which is, what day is it today? What day is it today? It's Saturday today. Okay, Wednesday I leave for the TV studios again because I'm having to film, not having, I'm going to film. I'm going to have to lose the top of that, aren't I? Uh, I'm going to film some television adverts for the company I do most of my freelancing for and also for the craft company, which is creating craft TV. So I've got that filming and then the next, okay, I'm liking that now. I like the way it fits over there. And then the next day, um, actually, you know, the same day on Wednesday evening, then I'll drive up to South Shields, which is where um, the company I do most of my demonstrating for is actually based. And I'm going to film a new project for them, which is going to be housed on their website, which is going to be called Katie Sue TV. So it's they're calling it TV, but it's not going out live. It's going to be pre recorded and then housed on their website website and once that's done and the first one or two are up well one of the first ones up and live i will actually post a link in the description box of the video i video on the day that i know it's gone live um, purely because um when you do tv work uh the tv channel only keeps the video current for a certain number of days before um, it disappears forever and the companies I work for would rather their products being advertised and I'll just stick that down by there um, advertised and all of the hard work that I've done kept for longer than that so what we're going to try and do is every time I do a television show I guess that's going there because it just stuck itself down every time I do a television show next year the following day or that day, I'll drive up to South Shields. And then when, in, when I'm in South Shields, I will then film their version of the television show I've just done. This isn't feeling right anymore now. That I'm going to put that to one side because that just doesn't seem to think. I'm looking at this thinking I want this to come over the top of here. But again, I need to think on that one. Um, really love this label. And I do think there's a place for it. I'm just not 100% certain where. I'm going to just cut that off. Probably just about there. Carrie famously tries to cut in a straight line. I can absolutely guarantee it's not. No, it isn't. That's the joy of wearing very focals. Everything looks like it's curved when you wear very focals. Or it does to me anyway. Right. Let's save that a little bit. You never know where that strip will go. Is this dry? No, it's not. It's sticking. These are all going into a box, by the way, over there, where they get recycled into other projects. And yes, there are other projects in the offing filming for those. Actually, I was doing some prototypes yesterday on one of those. So I know there's some coming soon. So there you go. So yes, so I'm prepping for the next two sets of filming sessions one is going to be the adverts which 
um, I couldn't send you a link or show you where they are because they will pop up if and when and wherever they deem necessary. So if you were to be watching Create and Craft TV one day, I could quite easily just pop up on your little screens um, advertising a company called Katie Sue or advertising Create and Craft or just Craft in general. Um, as I said, I will send you a link to the one that I do, which is not that. Okay, right. Let's have a think now while we're here. Um, I quite like this because it's in keeping with the colours. I'm quite liking that quite empty, to be honest. I'm worried that I'm going to make this too busy. Um, right, let's make some decisions. Tree. Effectively, I don't need the tree because there's trees in here. So let's put the tree to one side. Right, tree gone. Um, I pulled out these things and as I said, I didn't think I would use that, so that's gone as well. I quite like this. It's got that, that kind of feel to it. And don't ask me what I mean, because goodness knows, half the time I don't know what I'm talking about. And I'm sure there's many people out there gonna go, well, that's nothing unusual, Griffiths. So, so that's Take that edge off. I'm just going to pop this up there because I'm not liking that. Although here I am putting a square edge right up against another square edge. But we'll work on things. We'll get it sorted. Um, what else has gone on? Um, I've been enjoying lots of other people's videos. Um, I've enjoyed quite a few of Tracy Fox's lately. I've watched a few of Rachel's from Roxy Creations. Um, I've actually watched a lot of Tim Holtz as well over the last um, few days as well, just because he's done quite a few launches. I think he did the launch of his, what do you do the launch of? His Halloween, they start, I think he's already done the launch of his Christmas range, and I'm, I'm quite a fan of Tim Holtz's style. Um, I'd like my style to be a little more like that, um, because I find that a very attractive style. However, I'm not sure it's really going to work for me, so I try occasionally, but that's about it. Right. Do I really think this has a home? I could put it in there. Do I want to put it in there? I think the white circle around the outside of it is the thing that's bothering me. And I don't think there's a cat in hell's chance I'm going to cut a sticky label into the right thing. Bear with me while I do this. I will try. I think if it didn't have this white band around it, which is the downside to using stickers from the sticker book, because all of them have a white line around them. So whereas you think, oh, I just pull them off and stick them down, I then have to try and fussy cut each of them, which is far from simple. Um, it's a downside to a sticker book. And I know they, they do it because they're mass producing these things. And they can't always guarantee that the accuracy of the... It's called a kiss cut, where a blade taps against the surface to only cut the depth of the label. Um, they can't always guarantee that it's 100% accurate. Therefore, um, that's why they leave that gap. Right, I'm going to pop that over there. Just going for it, and I know it's a sticky label, but I just want to make sure the sticky label is staying stuck and not going anywhere. Right, this is feeling a bit Spartan, but we know I'm going to do some rubber stamping down it. Um, it looks like it's crying eggs. Um, and maybe this isn't going. Oh, what have we got there? No, I don't. I, eggs aren't needed if there are no birds. And there's obviously not going to be using these two, so that will go for another day. Um, I need to remember I need to go into the recycling bin as well to sort that out. Right, I keep humming and hawing. Um, let's not stick that down just yet. I want to put the flowers in here next. How am I going to be able to stamp on that? Mm, let's put something underneath it. The trouble is I've got these gems on the other side. Let's see whether we can do this. Um, wondering whether it'd be better not on the block. Uh, where I got the stamp from, don't know. 
Uh, more than likely, I got it on eBay in an auction or I found it in a sale bin somewhere years ago. I tend to be the person you see on his hands and knees in Hobby Lobby or Hobby Craft or Michael's or Joanne's going through the sale bins because that's where you find all the interesting things. OK, not perfect, but I think I'm going to put another one there as well just to continue the design up the page. Um, so, yeah, I do hunt around to find, I wouldn't call them a unique because obviously they're mass produced. Oh, well, I guess it's going there. Yeah, if I'd have picked that up, it would have smeared anyway, so that's not too upsetting. Should I just do one more there? I don't know, but we're going to do it anyway. Right. Let's go about there. I might just try and get... Oh, there's nothing like being indecisive, is there, Griffiths? So if I just put a little bit down there. I wasn't intending that to be a border, but I guess that's what it became. Now, the question is, I was going to paint those. Do I really want to paint them? Um, if I do, now is the time, really. All right, let's put the lid on the glue stick. Now, I'm not going to try and paint these perfectly. I want to paint them just... Just as is. Okay, whenever I get um, a paint palette, which is what I do, first thing I do is I make one of these up that I store with it so I have a rough idea what all of the colours look like. And in this instance, I'm just going to be using um, a water brush to paint with. Hopefully, it's a clean water brush. Let's go for this colour. Let's try and stay with a little bit of the softness of this. Right. As I said, we're just going to add little touches of colour in here. I don't need this to be absolutely perfect. I'm just going to try and get a little bit of something in here. I do like painting stamped pieces, so I just want to make sure there's some water on my brush. I don't actually do water colour painting very often. I would like to do a class in it actually, because I love the softness of watercolour. I've I've tried it a few times and I know the problem isn't isn't the technique, it's actually I'm probably using the wrong product. I'm probably not using the right paper or I'm using an inexpensive paint that's not working properly. I mean, part of it's going to be technique, because obviously I'm not doing the right technique, maybe. But but I do like the look of watercolour. Uh, bit of a hint up there. If I missed any. If I have, it's not going to be a problem. Now let's wash this one out a little bit. And see if I can find a green. Let's try this green. No idea how bright that green's going to be. Right, again, I'm just going to not worry about... Oh, there's a flower down there. I knew I'd miss one somewhere. I'm not going to worry about painting in the leaves perfectly. I'm just literally adding little splashes of green where I know that the leaves are because of the outline. I think that's probably all I want to do. Let's squeeze that out again. Brush that off on something. Pick up a little bit more of the pink because I spotted one down there and one up there, which you probably already spotted and I didn't because I'm looking through the camera lens. Um, I'm going to use a little bit of brown just to come in, just to get the seed pods. Right, there you go. I think that's fine. Um, I do like using a water brush for painting, I must admit. But the only thing is I find that I'm forever squeezing water out of it to clean it through. So let's put this all to one side. I'll tidy that bit up later. Bear with me. OK, that added an element I didn't think was going to be going on there. So let's take the book out again. Right, um, let's have a quick look at these prompts. So wrapping paper, definitely wrapping paper. Something shaped in an oval, got it. Something with legs, we know this little lady and her horse is going on here. 
a tree we've got trees on here I'm not putting another tree in something out the recycling bin I haven't done yet and something stamped in any other color than black and I've done that already and we just tickled those up with a bit of paint right um, let's put you on next lady shall we let's bring in this bit of paper let's get you on because I think a lot of things will be determined now by by the image that's going here so let's just get some glue on the back of this I went magazine hunting today because I'm running short on images and I'm looking for some quirky type arty type style stuff so I always buy Vogue if if I'm out of magazines Vogue is the one I buy the fashion style magazine purely because some of the imagery they use as advertisements within that magazine are very very lovely I mean there's I mean I quite like Lady Gaga and some of the imagery that she's done for oh is it Don Perignon maybe it's Don Perignon it's an alcohol anyway she's done some imagery for them and they're really really wacky images and um, there's there's a few I've clicked out and gone right you are going to be something in the future I can tell you right hopefully let's move it over a little bit and then the sun's not so much on it right that's looking a lot more romantic and flowery than I probably thought it would be my gut instinct is thinking that I need to stamp something in there but my soul is probably saying <laughs> you really want to stamp something in there um do I want to stamp something? Do I want to stamp anything in there? Let's 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 just park that idea, right? Let's bring in the parking lot and see what I think might go on here. Maybe. Um, don't need more. Oh, they've got the oh, we've got the butterflies from the last one. It'd be too much to be using pink butterflies again. Did I use them? I did use pink butterflies. Let's put that out of the parking lot just in case. Um, no, no, no. October. Is this October already? No, it isn't October yet. Okay. I don't want book page. That would have been a background thing. What's that? Is that a stamp? Probably not the right sort of stamp. Oh, it's a butterfly wing. Okay, let's pull that out as well. It's one of those random things that just popped up. Um, these are all two bigger pieces. Got the little rare butterflies, not wanting those. Bits of papers and tissue. More flowers. Well, I could use that and call that out the thing. Right, I think... I think I don't need to dig through this any further. I think... We've got probably what I'm going to reach for over here. Right. So I've got butterflies, which this is quite romantic, this 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 whole spread. Um, I'm quite liking that. I'm not sure I'm liking how white it is. I wonder what I could take it back with. The obvious is vintage photo. Oh, wait a minute. I think I've got grey. Where's my grey gone? I do have grey, there you go. Now, granted, it's an archival, but I should be able to blend over the top of this, because if this goes back to grey, I think I'd be happier with it. Sort of a bluey grey, isn't it? I'm okay with that. Right, that sort of pull. Okay, I'm okay with that. I'm loving that. I'm not loving it. I'm, I'm liking that at the moment. Um, I don't want to try and bring in anything else. I need more archivals. I use archival a lot. Um, but I don't have a huge selection of them. I think I need to invest in some. All right, I'm looking at this, thinking maybe, just maybe, 
a little hint of this. Now this could go disastrously wrong here because I literally just want a little bit of it. Just like that little bit of it. Just, just to give it a little more dimension. Right, I think I like that. So let's put that to one side and that back over there. Right, let's put, I think I'm going to add that to there because I, I actually quite like that. Do you want it up there or do I want it? That feels then it like it needs something there. I think I can live with that like that. Right, I'm going to use our litter glue on that, I think, because it's cardstock. And some of this is shiny surface, so just coming in with my art glitter glue. That'll go in there. Right, hold that down for a second. Where's the pin gone? Let's right, get the pin in on that. Right, just press that down so it's in place. Now I think if the lady had been further over, or maybe the other way around, I'd be tempted to use this in some way. But although I like it, it looks like I'd be sticking it on there just for the sake of sticking it on there, which I don't want to do. Um, I still want to add more of the hydrangea rice paper. I've already ticked that box, but I'm going to leave these out just in case, because there is a purple one there that I might be tempted to use. But we said no to the violin, so the violin is going in there. Now I do like the idea of somehow getting that on that page. Um, I don't usually cut rice paper because if you tear it, you've got more of a chance of the edges looking natural or actually just disappearing into the background. Whereas if you cut it, you don't get that effect. I'm wondering, is that too much? What was underneath it? Oh, that was underneath it. I wonder whether I... That would be better there, wouldn't it? Let's see if I can just get this torn down a bit. Decisions, decisions, people. Decisions, decisions. Oh, I know what I need to talk about too. Let's get this stuck down and I'll do this. Right, I think if I put that there, I'm not hating it. And then if I bring this up here, I'm just conscious that he's got no top of his ear. So that can come off there. And then maybe, I don't know, I'm not sure about that. I'm gonna put these down though. Right, get myself a clean bit of paper. It looks like the sun has moved over considerably, so I should be able to move that back a bit. Sorry, as I said before, if that was distracting. Not a lot I can do about the sun. Um, and also, to be honest, I'm just grateful to see it because we're heading towards fall. Well, if we're not already in fall, or autumn, should I say, and that just precedes winter. And we know what that's going to bring, don't we? I'll be lucky if I can do filming at all, because I only film in natural daylight. So hopefully I'll still be able to film. Um, but we'll see. I do have filming lights, but I've never really got on very well with them. Uh, I always find that they give me they give all my filming a really weird colour cast that I'm not I'm not overly happy about. So we'll see. We will absolutely see. I'll I'll give it a go. We'll see where we're going. I mean I will I will film, I can assure you. What it's going to look like or other is an absolute another problem. I think it's just the straight lineness of this I don't like.
but I'm going to put that in there anyway. Let's just stick it down, as you've heard me say before. My art, my decisions. There is no right or wrong when you create people. It's whatever you want to create. Actually, if I go... Let's pop that on there like that. Yeah, that sort of blended in. I need to just trim that bit off there. And remove you. Okay. I feel we're okay. I feel it's missing something. Not 100% certain what that missing something means, mind you. I'm, I'm loving this, but I'm not loving this. I don't want to put a word in there. And that's not me being cowardly. I just don't feel a word is what I want to put. No, that's not going to work either. Ooh, decisions, decisions, people. So I'm having a bit of a rummage through the through the parking lot, which needs a serious clean out. I must admit, after all these all these weeks and weeks of doing this. Now we did say we've got butterflies. Should I need to pop a butterfly, which I could. Stick a butterfly. I actually could have stick two butterflies in there. Maybe. Let's see if I can do this. Let's see if I can famously get the back off the sticker. I'm normally a little better when it comes to these ones. Said he famously. Come on. Let's put it on the tape and see if I can get it off that way. Stickers really, really, really frustrate me. I think in future if I print any stickers, I'm just going to print them onto plain paper. And then just put glue on the back. So I can get a hold of it this way. There you go. It's funny, it works for me, but maybe that's just me being quirky. Right, let's put you down there. got a bit of a bizarre idea. I'm wondering whether I want to put a Tim Holtz person there. I don't know, maybe like her jilted love or something. Here I go again with my quirky stories. Let's just have a little look at the Tim Holtzies and see if there's anywhere in there someone looks like a gentleman who's just jilted somebody. Who are you? Yeah, you've not jilted anyone. I need to order more of these as well. Or maybe she's mournful because she lost the love of her life. Good enough. Let's keep looking. That's an that's an option. Hate to be judgmental, but he looks like someone who would jilt somebody. That's another option. Well, it's the same one. Oh, being drawn to the same person, that's a good sign. What do you, oh no, wait a minute. You're looking very dubious, whoever you are. You're going to come out of there whether you like it or not. Right, we know he looks a bit like a doctor, so we're not dealing with that one. No, that, that just is a bit freaky. Right. I'm beginning to grow accustomed to liking the idea of one of these. So, is this the love that jilted her? That's the question. Now, he's a bit nonchalant. I'm being drawn back to this one, to be honest, it's like, was this the love of her life? And and he fits sort of nicely in there, doesn't he? I think that's what's going in there. I know it's a quirky thing. Yeah, whatever. I'm just going to darken the edge of this to cover the cut edges. That make sure there's nothing stuck on the back. Well, it's obviously art glitter glue again. 
and then I might take a step back and we'll just have a little look and go right have we actually finished this because I've got a feeling we've definitely used all the prompts but whether I think we're right or not I don't know I've got a bit much on there Griffiths be oozing out all over the place right I like the fact that he fitted in there and it's if he's standing on the flowers right Let's move him so he's in the right position. Press him down. Put the lid on the art lid. Right. I'm going to take a few seconds away from this because there's something else I remembered I wanted to talk about too. Okay. Last week I showed on my Facebook page. I got up at like half past five in the morning with the real urge to create something. So I sat down in the craft cave in my dressing gown. And I created this. And a lot of you have absolutely loved this. Um, it's an MDF tag um, with some clay embellishments that are moulded and then stenciling. And I just went to town and I absolutely love this. Now, I like doing mixed media stuff. Do I share the process? Not, not at the moment. Because I love doing this sort of stuff. However, I don't feel I'm qualified enough to run a tutorial on it and I know you'd probably go oh Kerry it's fabulous it'll work but to be honest with you I don't feel yet comfortable with this um, I do do canvases I do do boards I do do things like this um, possibly next year I might do one or two of these things on screen but I, I struggle because the moment I know someone is watching I tend to get a bit anxious about the end result when really something like this or a bigger canvas isn't really about the end result. It's about the process of getting to the end. Sometimes the end result is great. Sometimes it isn't great, but you've always learned something along the way on the journey. But thank you for all the comments. I really do love this. I like most things nautical and I love seahorses as well. Um, I will definitely consider it because this could actually have been the front of a journal as well. So maybe I need to think about doing a journal cover that's mixed media as well. So watch this space. Thank you very much for the comments. Um, I didn't ignore them. I just didn't really know how to answer them at the moment. I just know I'm not comfortable currently with doing this stuff on video, but I will be in the future. I just need to get a bit more product knowledge and understand because if I say something in a video and it's incorrect, um, I don't want to mislead people. I just want to make sure I'm telling you exactly the correct thing. So let's put this over to one side. So back to this, let's pull this down a little bit further, right. How do I feel about this? Um, wrapping paper, check. Something oval, there is an oval under there, we know it's there, we can just about see it. Something with legs, he's definitely got legs, that's got legs, that's got legs. A tree, I can see trees in here, I'm not worried about it. Something out the recycling bin, that came out the recycling bin. Um, rubber stamping in any other colour than black. I think that's everything on there. I'm just still feeling it's missing something, but I'm kind of wondering whether it's got too much on it now. And that's what's making me feel. I don't know. Hmm. I feel there's a story there. I think it's like if, if I had to say a story about it, all of the flowers and butterflies is just romantic to me. Um, I think she was actually in love with him and maybe maybe that was his horse there you go so he was a canadian mountie and that was his horse there you go and she lost him in the war and that's it and you know me for funky stories um i'm just looking at this thinking it needs another layer bear with me one minute right i have an idea if I can find what I'm looking for. I think I want to put some black script on here, um, just in places as if um, there's been a letter written or something like that. I, I just, I think that would make me happier. It would also push things into the background just slightly. Um, sorry if this tapping annoys you. So I'm just thinking at little bits of script here or there. Do you see what I mean? It just, it, it sort of kind of just takes it, the edge off the starkness. 
I want a bit down there because that's really, really, I wonder if I can get that in there. I've never even taken this off its backing. Let's see if I can pop that in there, that's better. Um, I think I want a little bit in there as well. Oh, don't go across his face because I'll probably end up giving him no eyes or something. A little bit up there. I think it's just a little bit up there and a little bit down the side. Right, I think that does what I want it to do. Hopefully it's not a step too far. Um, and if it is, then I've learned a lesson in doing that. So let's put that to one side. Right, so we know we've got all of the prompts on here. Um, I kind of like the story that it's got behind of it. She was in love with a Mountie. There's his horse. He's passed away in an American-Canadian war. And um, if that's not an American Mountie, I, a Canadian Mountie, I apologise. I don't know people in uniform. But he looks like he rides a horse because he's got those on. Um, I think we're going to call that quits. I'm going to quit while I actually stop rambling, to be honest with you. But I do think that's okay. So, oh, and there's Biscuit having his say as well. And I think he approves. Hello, Biscuit. I'm sure Darcy is saying, hi, Biscuit. And Darcy, he's saying, hi, Biscuit, back again. Okay, right. Enough of me rambling on. Um, social media links, as always. Thank you for the positive comments. Thank you for the kind comments. Um, you can find me on anywhere on here. In the next six weeks, I'll be doing more work on my creative designs website which means i'll be able to put my kerry recommends products on there for you um plenty more youtubes coming from you um make sure you follow whatever interests you've got and there are more youtube um, etsy products in the offing as well so this is me just saying goodbye so this is kerry the crafter c-e-r-i -R, signing off for now see you next time bye